there um amazon dicks I, there was a bunch of places okay. i actually got mine at dicks and it was it was a little it was probably a little cheaper than that okay so look out for that there is a that is the chilla awesome thing amanda what is your awesome thing of the week so i am i'm happy to present share play is live on ios devices <laughs> Um, and that's my awesome thing of the week. And it's because I got to actually work on Apple music with it. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. I, so if you haven't really studied up on it, it is, you can take a FaceTime call and then immediate, I'll talk mostly about music, even though you can do it with fitness and, um, like screen sharing you can do fitness you can do you can do apple tv but music the really cool thing is is that you can basically open it up you start the facetime call you open up music and you start to play it and everybody that's on the call can then listen through their device to Hmm. the music and they can play with the cue you can add stuff subtract stuff you can watch the music videos together um, some of the content like interviews and stuff you can watch together. Um, there are certain things that you can't like radio, their whole radio station is blocked from it. Um, certain other like original content you can't, um, everybody has to have like a subscription and this is the same for Apple TV and Apple fitness, um, or fitness plus you have to have subscriptions to everything to do it. And yeah, it's like a little party. <laughs> I like it. So, so, but, but again, if you're somebody who subscribes to something like Apple One and 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 have the family plan and everything that you're sharing, like you already have a handful of people you probably already communicate with on a regular basis that you can do this with, right? Absolutely. So, and even it, absolutely. So you can watch the same TV shows, work out together, listen to the same music together, and the screen sharing thing is actually really really cool. So that's a whole collaborative where you can actually watch like each other's screens. So we were able to watch each other's Instagrams, each other's TikToks, Mm. um, anything that was on the screen, Spotify, YouTube, any of those we were able to bring up and share with everybody on the call. So, so a true, a true kind of screen share, not just like Apple TV, you know, or anything like that. Correct. Um, there was, uh, there's also now there's like 15 different applications that have already built this in. Nice. Um, there's a list that includes things like heads up the game heads up where you used to put the phone on like your forehead and <laughs> like, yes. Um, the app crouton, which is like a recipe sharing one. There's a whole bunch of different apps that kind of have already built it in. Um, to kind of like add it on to kind of like introduce it when it rolled out this week with 15.1. So yesterday it just rolled out. Hmm. I, I think I saw, was it Showtime and Par- I think it was Showtime and Paramount launched with it already too. Like those were the two big, I think it didn't up play like a Netflix or anyone like that, but I, I thought I saw Showtime's logo and the Paramount Network's logo on there. Yeah, we know that cool. they are working on it. We, uh, I, I didn't. Hear, I'm sure most of them will jump on this in the end because a lot of the other ones compared to it are pretty clunky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Does it? So, do you know? Like, is I'm guessing each, especially with video audio, probably not as big of a deal. What does it do if I have poor internet and you don't, and we're watching? A video do i i'm guessing i skip to catch up to you yeah it could skip around it could kind of do that type of lag thing it depends screen sharing you could see some pixelization you yeah. could see some type of lag that way you mm-hmm. could see spinning wheels on one person's thing while it plays on yours um it could play catch up the internet thing is kind of a little bit, it is the gray area that they're really going to have to watch in the next few months, Mm -hmm. because that's the thing that we exhibited it um, when we were working on it. So it just looked like somebody had poor internet and they were trying to do a zoom or anything like that. Kind of like the same way. 
yeah, same kind of effects are going to roll into this that we're used to probably. Um, yeah, it, you know, I was even re when I was reading, looking at some articles around this when when you were telling me about it. I were talking about early betas were a little weird, but it seems to be a lot stronger now. Um, so, but of course, you know, we're, we're, I'm sure we're going to find interesting use cases <laughs> as people start experimenting with this, right? Um, so, no, that's really cool. So, so I can, so next time, so the next time my wife's in California when the next season of Ted Lasso drops, I, I, I don't, I, I don't have an excuse to not watch it with her. Uh, so. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Not at all. As long so. as you're both on the new. Everybody yesterday who was saying it wasn't working, it was like one off cases where the one person wasn't updated or yeah. um, a person that was in the group chat was really on an Android. <laughs> wait, wait, which wait, wait, won't wait, work what? at all. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like, I was reading some of the Twitter feeds over it and stuff like that. And it was like, it was like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can do FaceTime on Android now. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, I'm not sure. Um, no, but no. Yeah, well, it, that's a that's a web based client, so it's not going to have the hooks into that to do the, the this protocol, right? So yeah. <laughs> it's that's the answer. Are they, <laughs> it's, good. Are they or have they already brought it to like? multiplayer apple arcade games because i think that's where it would be fun mm. kind of giving you that that multiplayer but more of a sense of playing in the same room with someone versus just a voice call or like it a could, it could like break... you think of i play xbox and you can throw on a chat headset and talk to the other person it could it could bring up kind of it, it could bring up the random people i play on lego battle star wars <laughs> yes exactly which I am. Thank you for for causing that time suck in my life. Oh by the my way. god! That's all um, I've been playing. It is that's so much I've fun, been, and it, I am const I'm addicted. That's all I've been playing, dude. That's all I've been playing. Although I did, I well that, and I did play a little bit of the Dragon Fighter Z, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, finally on Game Pass. But other than that, um, yeah, no, though I'm freaking. I, it's. I'm living in that game right now. It's really bad, actually. So, and, and, and the problem... Okay, we're going on a different tangent.